Hello, it's good to be with you again uh, for another edition of uh, Rejoice TV Recap. We have a special, special topic today because it's the reason. It's another season and Jesus is the reason for the season. And so we want to talk about Jesus and most importantly, about following Jesus. You know, there's a scripture in the book of Matthew chapter 4, verse 19. And it says, Jesus Christ said to the disciples, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. You know, I've had people say, Jesus Christ, when you follow him, he makes you. Something changes. You're not going to be the same. Yeah. You can't, what are the benefits of following Jesus? And also, what are the impediments that stand in our way yeah. as we endeavor to follow Jesus? Well, he has already told us so many things. He started with the fact that um, if you follow me, you have to deny yourself. And that's very, very, very concrete and very important to a being a disciple and being a follower of Christ. You have to deny yourself, you have to carry your cross, and you have to follow after him with a focus. There is not... That's going to yeah, be hard. It's the hardest thing to do. When somebody says, you cannot be my disciple if you cannot do, I mean, follow me like this. And there's so many, like you ask the question, what's the impediment to me being a true follower of Christ? I think you've answered it. It's the world. That's one. You talk about the world and the Bible talks about it. It said these things you, you keep you away from the word of God. And then you we know that another thing that is seen, the flesh. the flesh will keep us away. And that's why in Galatians 5, I think it's in verse 24, he talks about those things, something about the flesh. And it's if your flesh is in control, then if he says do this, you're going to go the other way. And mm. you cannot be a true disciple that way. That's why he said you must crucify your flesh. And that's I why the see. cross comes, because the cross is a place of crucifixion. Mm. And if you cannot crucify the flesh, <laughs> there's no way you're going to be an effective disciple. Galatians 5 24 says, They that are Christ have crucified the flesh with his lust Lost and passions. passions. So there are passions, there are lustful things that will keep you from being a follower. Hmm. Because hmm. once you get into such fleshy passions, lost, you're going to go farther away from Christ. Hmm. And he now tells you, There's some digging deep you need to do. Hmm. And it's very, very important that that cross, you carry it. There's no way up except, he said, except the grain of, of wheat dies. It abides alone. It abides alone. So there's something about us dying to ourselves. Mm -hmm. It's not a, a the really, um, Christianity is not a self thing. It's a dying to me thing. Mm -hmm. Because that's how you go and grow in the things of God. So that you can be matured mm -hmm. to be a disciple of the Most High God. And our reason is because we value him over all these things. Mm. If you don't value him over the world, the, the lure of the world will lure you away. Mm. If your flesh is in control, you will flesh you out mm. so much that there will be nothing <laughs> left. Wow. You know, you won't even recognize yourself after all the world system, the fleshy system, and the lustful system takes over your life. Mm. You will not recognize yourself. You won't even know you were ever a Christian. And with the world, we're going into 2024. You have to make that firm decision. Have value that you're going to place value on the kingdom, the things of God, and Jesus. So that you can become a true disciple. Even with all the things that come against you. Well, thank you for sharing that. Kind of breaking down for us. Mm -hmm. and so there you have it. The disciple of Jesus Christ must be able to put self last, you know, to deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow him. And when you follow him, he will make you. Just like he made Saul to become a Paul. Just like he made Simon to become a Peter. And he was able to be able to, you know, you know use him to be able to first Paul. God wants to make us put some meaning into your life. 
and bring fulfillment in your life. So we have trust that you will take these things too hard as you allow Jesus to make you by following him. Till we meet again, have a wonderful, a wonderful rest of your day. Stay blessed. Amen. Mm-hmm.